today i will walk you through a visual programming tool and i'll show you its key features since pick to blocks and scratch are very similar i'm going to use pick to blocks for this video these visual programming tools are made for kids like us between the ages of 8 and 16 there's no need to type instructions we just have to drag and drop correct pieces like we saw a jigsaw puzzle this is a great help for beginners like us. Okay then, let's have a look at pick the blocks. I'll explain all of the key areas of it and explain what they do. Sprites A sprite is an object or a character in our program. We control these sprites by giving instructions using blocks. The bear you see in this picture is a sprite. He's my friend Toby. They normally have multiple costumes. You can view what costumes Toby has by going into the Costumes tab on the top left. We can change these costumes using blocks to get the appearance we need. This is how we get the walking effect with Toby. The Stage The stage is the area where our sprites perform their actions. We can think of it as our main view. The background of this stage is called the backdrop. We can select any image as the backdrop by clicking the button under the stage section. We also can use blocks to give instructions to the stage if we need it. Blocks and Block Palette A block is like a jigsaw puzzle piece. There are different types of blocks available in the block template. All we have to do is drag and drop the block we need from the block palette to the scripting area. The block palette is under the code tab. Blocks in here are grouped based on what they do. And each group has a unique color too. As an example, blocks that can be used to move the sprite are under the motion group. Script area. A script is a piece of code that we write using instruction. But here, it is a collection of blocks that we stack. There can be multiple scripts in here. And they all are executed simultaneously by the computer. For example, we can have a script to do this when start flag is clicked and another script to do some other thing when the space key is pressed. We can give a name to our projects. All we have to do is change the text in the project title text box on the menu bar. The small disk icon next to it is the save icon. Don't forget to save your project from time to time. The green flag you see on the top of the stage is called the start button. The computer starts to run our program when we press this. If we want to stop the program, we can press the red dot next to it. That's it for today then. Let's start coding from the next video.